Well, that's freaky. Hmm. Hopefully that doesn't cause more issues. What did I do? Oh, I pressed B. Um, we're gonna try this, but I don't know if that's going to work. No. We're Lonk. Let's be Lonk. <laughs> oh, that's cute. I don't know if this is gonna work. In the land of Hyrule, there echoes a legend. A legend held dearly by the royal family that tells of a boy. A boy who, after battling evil and saving Hyrule, crept away from the land that had made him a legend. Done with the battles he once waged across time, he embarked on a journey, a secret and personal journey. A journey in what? In search of a beloved and valuable friend. I can't do the Don Lon Fontaine voice, which is what I was hoping for there, but a friend with whom he had parted ways to finally fulfill this heroic destiny, blah, 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 among the legends. Navi. So that was a graphical glitch with the spinning mask, which now has me leery how many graphical glitches are going to be in the game. I don't know how to get this to run, so hopefully it works just fine. <laughs> Oops. So if it hasn't become apparent, I am doing A Legend as Hell that measures Mask for my next Let's Play. I feel bad about the uh, Link to the Past. I tried to do it again. I really did try. I cannot stand that game. I ju it's not in me anymore. I get so frustrated. I didn't have fun. I wanted to scream. I wanted to shout. I just didn't like that game, so I couldn't do it. I have a unpublished video where I rage quit again, and I just decided not to upload it. I think it's actually deleted now, but I tried really hard to go back and finish it. Still can do it. So, here we are. And everything seems fine so far. <laughs> you two fairies did... I can't do... A voice for that. I wonder if he has anything good on him. This guy. Well, that shouldn't be a problem. I think I'm gonna need to switch my A and B buttons around. Kick. What a pretty ocarina. Hey, school kid, let me touch it. I want to see you. You can't tail. What would you do if you dropped and broke it? Dropped it and broke it. No way. You can't touch it. Huh, but sis, why, why can't I try it out too? The look on Link's face here. <laughs> Sick of your shit. What you got behind your back? <laughs> I think it's important to point out that during the time of release, which I think was October of 99, I was in foster care when this game came out. The cinematography of this intro was actually fantastic. I don't know if I had seen anything quite of the caliber of this. Did Final Fantasy 7? Well, I guess Final Fantasy, but... For the Nintendo 64, this was outstanding. This was... this was fantastic. Like, you don't see uh, cutscenes like this. Okay, yeah, I'm gonna need to change the heck out of that. But... Let's go. Oh yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh Jesus. Lord Almighty. Hey, I didn't know you can climb on top of that little tree mushroom thing. Uh, there we go. There we go. 
I'll change it in the next episode for myself. Ain't no thing. Ain't no worry. Oh, trippy. Masks. Oh, hey, I have coffee. Oh, and Megan recommends. I don't remember the name of the brand. Gracie's something butter toffee coffee? I don't remember, but it's really good stuff. Butter toffee coffee. And it cost me like nine bucks at the grocery store for 12 of them. What's with that stupid horse of yours? It doesn't listen to a word that's said to it. There's no point in writing a thing like that. So I did you a favor and got rid of it. <laughs> Aw, poo-hoo. Why the sad face? I just thought I'd have a little fun with you. Oh, come now. Do you really think you can beat me? I didn't get to read all that. I don't know if I pressed a button or not. Oh, yeah, we're having some glitches. I'm gonna have to figure something out. Oh, seizure warning. Can I skip this? I am so sorry. Poof. Should have done a test run. It's mostly the motion blur effect. And that was the, the problem that, um... I think we're gonna just skip it, because that doesn't happen a whole lot. Actually, it does in some cutscenes. <laughs> now that's a good look for you! You'll stay here looking like that way forever! Yeah, this is... I don't like the auto-playing text. Kick a man when they're down. Sis! Oh shit! Whoa, whoa! Skull Kid, wait for me! I'm still here! Tail, you can't leave without me! I huff and I puff, and I signed an eviction notice. Shrek. You! If it wasn't dealing with you, I wouldn't have gone separated from my brother! Well, don't just sit there, deaky boy! Do something! Why are you looking at me like that? What? Is there something stuck on my face? Will you stop staring at me and just open that door for me? Please! Come on! A helpless little girl is asking you! So hurry up! I think the DQ Link does that, like... Oh, Tail! I wonder if that child will be alright on his own. No. Oh, I just burped. I apologize. Well, whatever. Let's open up this door. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Hey, wait for me! Don't leave me behind! So, um, <clears throat> that stuff back there, I, um, apologize, so... So take me with you! You want to know about that skull kid who just ran off, right? Well, I just so happen to have an idea of where he might be going. Take me with you and I'll help you out. Deal? Please? Good. Then it's settled. Now then, I'll be your partner. Or at least until we catch that skull kid. My name's Tattle. So, uh, it's nice to meet you or whatever. Now that we've got all that straightened out, can we stop messing around and get moving? If I figure something out, press... See up, and I'll tell it to you. Hopefully, you'll manage to get by to get by without my help. Until then, there we go. Don't really quite need ya, Tattle. I have been here, done that. How long have we been? Ten minutes. So, the reason I chose this instead of Ocarina of Time is purely for uh, uh, selfish reasons. 
in that I have beaten Ocarina of Time a gazillion bajillion times. And I love the game to pieces, I do, but I just did a, a playthrough of it personally. Like, I don't know, eight months ago, which doesn't sound like it's a whole lot of time. Um, oh, a Deku nut. Upon impact, making a, uh, it makes a blinding flash. Freezing enemies in the track. Um, doesn't sound like it's been super recent, but it's enough to make me just not want to, so. And I have a lot more fun with this game. I thought this would make a fun, more fun Let's Play. I, I might go back and do Ocarina of Time, I don't know. Yeah, we're gonna, oh, oh, we got it, we got it! I don't know how we pulled that off, I didn't think I'd get there. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, yes. Hey, you! Come on, press Z and talk to me! There you go, see? You can do it if you try. When I fly over to people or objects, use Z to look at them so you can talk to them. Use Z targeting to talk to people even if they're far away. Or if there's no one to target, you can use Z to look straight ahead. But enough about that for now. Come over here to this tree and check it out! It's strange, but the way you look right now sort of looks like this tree. It looks all dark and gloomy, almost like it could start crying any second now. How sad. Do we look anything alike? No. I have life in my eyes. <laughs> Burn! Oh, here we go. Yeah, so it's any time they want to impose a motion blur effect that this happens, this flickering. And there's a lot of moments where that happens. I, I can think of quite a few. Um, so I definitely need to figure something out before I start doing a whole lot more episodes. Like, I don't want to go through the whole game with that flickering because it's just annoying. But with the previous graphics driver plugin, it just wasn't doing it. So this song is somber as heck. Let's enjoy that for a little moment. <laughs> You've met with a terrible fate, haven't you? <clears throat> Classic line. Iconic to this game. <laughs> I own the Happy Mask Shop. I travel far and wide in search of masks. During my travels, a very important mask was stolen from me by an imp in the woods. So here I am at a loss. And now I have found you. Now don't think me rude, but I've been following you. For I know of a way to return you to your former self. If you can get back the precious item that was stolen from you, I will return you to normal. In exchange, all I ask is that you also get back my precious mask that the imp stole from me. What? Is it not a simple task? Why, to someone like you, it should be by no means a difficult task. I don't know if I worded that right. Except, the one thing is, I'm a very busy fellow, and I must leave this place in three days. How grateful I would be if you could bring it back to me before my time here is up. <laughs> but yes, you'll be fine. I see you are young and have tremendous courage. I'm sure you'll find it right away. Well then, I'm counting on you. Huh. Three days. Find his mask. Get the precious item, the ocarina. And return to him. The dawn of the first day. 72 hours remain. South Clock Town. The amount of life that this town has is captivating. It just you you can hear the hammering, the the dog, the everything. It's just so alive. He gives me the creeps. That mask salesman was the sorry, just thinking aloud. But three days, even if we never sleep, that still leaves us with a measly seventy-two hours. Talk about demanding. Well don't just stand there, we're going to see the great fairy. Look, you wanna find the skull kid, don't you? The great fairy will know what he's up to. She watches over everything. I imagine Data's voice from Mega Man Legends with Tattle and Tail. 
And just between you and me, Skullkid is no match for the Great Fairy. Go to the shrine near the North Gate. You'll find the Great Fairy in there. For sure. I know where I'm going, so I'm not gonna really kind of dink around. Like, I'll just do what's required, which is gonna sound, look, you know, like, it's gonna remove some of the whole amusement and wonder of a first-time blind playthrough. But... It is what it is. Okay. Okay. <clears throat> what? What's this? Green clothes, white fairy. Sir, could you by chance be a forest fairy? Oh my! My name is Tingle. I think I am the same as you, sir, a forest fairy. Alas, though, I'm already age 35. No fairy has come to me yet. My father tells me to grow up and act my age, but why? I tell you, Tingle is the very reincarnation of a fairy. Now, while I stand here waiting for a fairy of my own, I sell maps to help out my father. Lucky, lucky, you are so lucky to have a fairy. I know, I know, we should be friends. Yes, yes, in exchange, I will sell you a map for cheap as a sign of my friendship. Will you buy one of Tingle's maps? 10 rupees, right? 5 rupees. Sure. Yippee! A map of the clock town. Well, call again. Tingle, Tingle, Kululimpa! These are magic words that Tingle created himself. Do not or don't steal them. Sure thing. Creepo. Wow, it's 3.30 my time already. Oh, let me get a little bit more comfortable. Okay. Oh no, the great fairy! Young one, please hear my plea. I have been broken and shattered to pieces by the masked Skullkhead. Please find the one stray fairy lost in town and bring her to this fairy fountain. For some reason I always thought it was two. My memory does fail me. You know, so I thought really hard about whether or not I wanted to do this one or the 3DS version. And from what I've seen that the 3DS has, it's not worth it. In fact, I would consider it a horrible port. It's... It removes some of the amusement with the game. It makes it simpler. It makes it just... I don't like it. So we have our map. I'm going to be collecting rupees as we go along. I have to find the stray fairy, which is, I believe, off in the laundromat area. Oh, we need to watch out for that dog. That dog will totally mess our... Yeah. There you go. That dog tries to attack Deku Link. Was this where the fairy was? Yes. The masked kid has broken me apart and scattered my pieces. Please find a way to return me to the fairy fountain north clock town. Let's do it then. I'm not going to be doing a 100% run on this, a uh, perfect run, I don't think. I, I, I'll do a normal playthrough. Um, three heart challenge. See, the thing is, is a lot of this game relies on side quests, right? Like, the side quests are so amazing on this game. Um, that they're, they're just fun. Like, they, they make up half the game, and so many of them reward you with heart pieces and stuff that I don't think I want to do a three heart challenge um, on this game. It's just, it ruins some of the amusement to discovering and enjoying the world of this particular game. And that's the only reason that I'm not going to be doing a three heart challenge. Um, so, normally I would, but... <clears throat> 20 minutes in. <laughs> I la- I laugh seductively to the food that I am about to eat in a way that she laughs seductively to Link. Nah. Tattle, you- Tattle and you, young one of the altered shape, thank you for returning my broken 
and shattered body to normal. I am the great fairy of magic. I thought that masked child was helping me, and I grew careless. All I can offer you now is this. I shall grant you magic power as a sign of my gratitude. Please accept it. I can't do that. No, however that sound effect was. That sounded really awkward, you guys. I'm sorry. I've got the power! You've been granted magic power. Don't care. We're not. I'm not gonna read this stuff. I'll just read dialogue. The man who lives in the observatory outside of town may know of the Skull Kid's whereabouts, but be careful. You must not underestimate that child's power, as kind young one. If ever you are returned to your former shape, come see me. I shall give you more help. <laughs> ya freak. Cat. Tessie. Tessie, aka Tesla. Oh, and now he's up on his balloon. So, yeah, the way to kind of get through this, I need to collect rupees. I want to try to get my bank upgraded. Ah. Uh, I'll show you how it's done. Oh my god, this too? Oh, I cannot play like this. Well. <sighs> Kids like you fucking what, mate? <clears throat> I'm sorry. Are you the one that just pops that up there? Not bad for it. There goes Scrub. Cause Ducky Scrub isn't the kind of guy who can get no love from me. There's Tessie. Yeah. Yeah, you. Not bad for a scrub. We bombers have a hideout that lead to the observatory, observatory outside of town. You need a code to get in. Maybe I'll tell you what it is, but don't think you're getting it that easily. I just can't tell you what the code is. You'll have to pass my test first. Are you ready? All right, line up, guys. <clears throat> if you can find all five of us by tomorrow morning, I'll teach you the code. Are you ready? <laughs> He's like, I meant to do it that late. Aw, shucks. <sighs> Peel her off the back. Ow, ow! Ow. Sorry. Get your butt down. Sorry. Okay, so there's a kid over here. Oh, that was a horrible run. Where's that kid? There's one of them over here, right? Yeah. Ah, you caught me. Now there are only four left. Okay, I don't entirely remember where all of them are, but we're gonna try. Is that another one right there? Yes. Wait, what? What? Did you guys see that? I had him. Get- oh, don't, don't, don't. Sometimes I like to go in that little door and it's like impossible to get them out, so like... There you go. Aw, oh, you caught me. Now there are only three left. Well, there is one over here, so... Is there two? I think there's only one. Two. Okay, one's holding a cuckoo, and one's on the opposite roof or something. I don't know. One's just chilling there, watching guards. So let's go over here and chase the cuckoo one. There we go. Oh, you caught me. No, there are only two left. Oh, that thing's just losing its shit now, isn't it? Aw, oh, you caught me now. There is only one left. This is easy mode. Oh, why do we have to play these stupid brats little games? Come on, hurry up and find them already. Only 14 hours and 10 minutes left until the morning. Whoa! Oh no! Whatever shall we do? Out of coke. Mm. 
while I'm here, I might as well... Do they actually just sit there and chill? Oh, they do! I never noticed that before. I didn't know that they just sit in the North Clock Town and chill while you're out catching the others. Here we go. 40 rupees. I think I need 200 to get a wallet upgrade. I don't remember. Okay, now there is one in the east, right? Yes, right there. I see ya. And I win. Oh no way, you finally got me. You're pretty good for Deku Scrab. If only you were a human. Then I could give you the original Bomber's Notebook and make you a member. What do you guys think? No way! No Scrubs, cause Scrubs ain't got, got no love from me. Hanging on the passenger side of his best friend's ride, trying to holla at me. I'm gonna take a picture and cheat. I guess not. Once, we let some kid who wasn't human join our gang, and boy did we ever regret it. Sorry! But I'll teach you the code just like I promised. I can tell you only once, though, so pay close attention. Are you ready? There. Two, three, one, four, five. The entrance to our hideout is in East Clock Town. Sure. Eh, whatever. And the first night. I think the first day is scheduled to go a little faster, and maybe my brother Nick can clarify if he watches this series. Um, my cat's clawing on my chair. On my gaming chair. Um, I think the first day is scheduled to go a little bit faster than any other day. Or the first three days is scheduled to go a little bit faster than the normal ones. And maybe Nick can clarify that for me, I don't know. Hey there, little guy. Wouldn't <laughs> you deposit some rupees? Nowadays, even people have money. Every even if people have money, they don't deposit any. Nothing. Nothing! So far, so, for a limited time, I'll give you a special gift based on how much you deposit. For example, if you deposit 200 rupees, you get an item that holds a lot of rupees. So, what'll it be? I just want to talk fast because I feel like that's the type of person he is with the whole, like, patting himself. Alright! So! How much? How much? Forty-eight. Really? Are you really depositing forty-eight rupees? Seriously, that's a lot! A lot! A lot! So, little guy, what's your name? Hmm. Lonk, is it? Got it. I won't forget your deposits. Let me stamp you with my special ink. Hey, relax. It doesn't leave any marks, and it's not gonna hurt. There. Now I'll know when... Now I'll know you when I see you. Alright, little guy. Now I've got you for a total of 48 rupees from you. Come back and deposit some after you save up a bunch. Well, let's go to the hideout. I think we're gonna end this episode once we get through the end of that little segment. Um... I might have to figure out how to do save states. I don't know if the saving works on this. Should we do a longer first episode? Mm. <gasps> if you want to pass through here, you have to say the secret code. Two, three, one, four, five? Um, that's right. If you know the code, then you're a member, right? Okay, here you go. I'm trying to sound lethargic like him. There's a lot of cool stuff at that telescope guy's place. Oh, yeah, and, um, the Bomber Secret Society of Justice Forever. Hail Satan. I didn't say that. He, he did. I love how, like, you can hear the ticking all throughout. You can hear ticking all throughout the town. 
uh, everywhere there's a clock, and it's kind of like this reminder to the player that, hey, time's moving. It's a constant reminder that, like, you need to get your shit going. Um... This way? Okay. Oh god, that's gonna get so annoying. Oh, it bounces off, I see. Well... Is there another spider around here? I don't remember. Whoops. Magic and some money. Come on. How do I get- okay, you just walk into it. My bad. 31 minutes. Out of nowhere, this guy just has a bird. Rupees! Give me your money, old man. You know, when I was, um, kid and playing on the N64, like, I get it, he's going up the stairs to, like, take steps, but it, I'm, I wasn't used to that on Link to the Past, so I thought that the C-Stick for my Nintendo 64 controller was breaking every time I just happened to take that particular turn. But no, it's, it's just built into the game to make it seem like you're taking steps. Well, well, a strange-looking child has joined me today. Are you a new friend of the Bombers Gang? Hmm, your manners seem much better than those of your mischievous friends from the other day. <laughs> that ill-mannered troublemaker from the other day said he'd break my instruments. He said he'd steal my fi my moon's tear. There was no stopping him. I even now, just watch him. He's probably causing trouble on the clock tower. Will you gaze into the telescope? Sure. Inverse controls. Inverse... Oh, God. Where am I going? Telescope can actually reach over there. Ah, uh, don't think so. Shake his butt. Well, did you find that troublemaker? And that loud noise, what was that? Perhaps another moon's tear has fallen nearby. Go through that door and take a look outside. I don't know why I'm making him sound like Barrel off of Mega Man Legends, but I wonder how that troublemaker got on top of the clock tower. There's only one... <coughs> Sorry, the, the only way up there is through the clock door, and that opens on only on the eve of the carnival. I don't know, old man. I don't know. <sighs> Alright. You got the moons here. Its sparkling beauty radiates rather strangely. And that's it. That's, that's it for episode one. Episode... Next episode, we are going to... Is this supposed to be black like that? I don't think so, but I think that's a graphical glitch, so... I'm gonna try to look through some settings and options to fix this. We're gonna pick up on the next episode, figuring out where to go next, and... and stop the... stop the Skull Kid, and save the day, and the game's gonna be done already. So, thank you for joining. I'll catch you on the next episode, and... tomorrow. Yeah, this is going to go up on Wednesday, today, the 6th. The next episode will be tomorrow, and then to Tuesday and Thursday will be the regular scheduled interval. Anyway, thank you for watching. You guys have a great day. Bye.